Hello and welcome. This is Brenny Larson, your Elemental Health. This is webinar three of the Mingua series. How to get the most out of this training? Please shut off all distractions. Make sure to set your intention. What do you want to get out of this training? Use those handouts. I put together some great handouts for this series. The first handout is going to be your study guide where we're gonna talk about wood, which we are using for a case study here. And also the five Chinese elements I put into a spreadsheet for each one. And what is covered there is a lot of information. Um, we talk about the elements, the colors, the seasons, power, direction, time, stages, the quality, flavor, the organs. So take a look, there's a whole lot more on that sheet. Um, but I want to dive right into this training. Okay, use the handouts and then watch the replay and take action. This information is so you can live your best life possible. I'm on a mission to help you. I want to unblock your mind, your space, your body, so that you can live a life of joy and expansion and accomplish your mission on earth. Oops, I want to go back for one minute there. I guess I didn't quite finish it up. If you would like to follow me, I do Periscope Monday through Friday at least uh, once a day, sometimes twice. They're short scopes, and I cover feng shui, universal laws, mindset, motivation, um, ascended masters and angels, and all that good stuff about energy and frequency and vibration. Um, I also have the replays up there, and lots of times um, I put other specials uh, for feng shui experts that I work with so that you can get all the information you desire. Okay, let's land. Oh, this feels so good. All we're going to do right now is get ground, grounded. We're going to land. So breathe in through your nose deep down into your lower belly, your middle belly, in your lungs. Hold it for about three seconds and then really let it go. We're gonna do that three times. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time, breathe in. All that positive energy flowing into you, that fresh air, hold it. Now really let out all that negative energy. One more time, breathe in. And let it go. You should be in the now, you should be more relaxed and be able to focus. So let's get going. Well, I don't know why my picture never shows up when I use this, uh, <laughs> but I guess you know what I look like and it doesn't really matter. So why should you listen to me? My name's Brenny Larson and I have almost 20 years as a feng shui consultant and teacher. And I've interviewed over 300 feng shui and energy experts. I'm really passionate about my mission. I apply feng shui mindset and universal laws to awakened entrepreneurs. I've studied with many masters, teachers, and mentors, and I've continued my research on energy, vibration, and frequency, and my spiritual studies with my master light and grid worker. Um, I do live stream as I discussed earlier, and I'm working with marketing mentors and coaches, and I'm on my mission, so come join our community. There'll be more of that at the end. Plus, I'm really fun. <laughs> so today what I'm going to cover is the five elemental organs and emotions, cleansing and healing foods, and movements and activities. We are once again going to use wood as a case study. Grab a drink of water real quick. Okay, now according to the Chinese legend, the five elements arrive from different compass directions and accompanied by climatic factors. And they continued on to create the world and the human body. So Naburo Muramoto says that the east creates the wind and the wind creates wood. The force of spring creates the wind in heaven and the wood upon the earth and they create the liver organ and the muscles within the body 
and the eyes and the green color and the sour flavor and the emotion anger and the ability to make a shouting sound yeah I have no problem making a shouting sound. If you've ever talked to my family, they'll tell you that. That's why I love this, because it explains who we are, and it helps us so much understand what body parts, what organs, how to work with ourselves and others you know, in a much uh, better way, because we're understanding ourselves and them. Okay, so make sure you have your guide out here and fill in the information. I want to give you a little bit of background here is in traditional Chinese practitioners, what they're going to do is they understand that your emotions affect your physiology. And so what they're going to do, they're going to treat your emotions and there's also emotions in the organs that they are impacting. So there's seven basic emotions in the Chinese system. That would be your joy, your anger, your worry, thoughts, sadness, fear, and shock. Now that's on your chart. If you look right there, you will see those emotions. And under normal condition, uh, this relationship helps people to respond to life events. But when their emotions are either in excess or they're underdeveloped, the body will become sick. Let me give you an example. Okay, excessive anger, which is a wood element, is, you know, it's dangerous and it injures the liver and other parts of the body. Liver is where anger dwells. Extreme irritation will amplify this liver energy. Then what happens? It's going to rush to the head and potentially could cause high blood pressure, headaches, or in the worst case, it could actually cause a stroke. So um, while motions have this effect or impact on the organs, it's also important that we remember that we're created, they're created in specific organs. So an organ gives rise to an emotion. Here's the list. The heart gives rise to joy. The liver gives rise to anger. The lungs give rise to worry and sadness. The spleen gives rise to thought. And the kidney gives rise to fear. These are the three basic emotional patterns. The first one is gives rise to. We just walked through that. Now, the other one we're going to cover right now is overcome. So anger overcomes thought. Thought overcomes fear and shock. And fear and shock overcome joy. Joy overcomes worry and sadness. And worry and sadness overcome anger. This is one emotion overcoming another emotion, which creates an imbalance. Now we're going to talk about reduces. One emotion reduces another emotion, creating balance. So worry and sadness reduces joy. Thought reduces anger. Anger reduces thought. Fear and shock excuse me, let me say it over. Anger reduces worry and sadness. Fear and shock reduce thought. Joy reduces fear and shock. This is a key in healing the body. Emotionally, it's used uh, for our emotions so that we can keep them in balance. So let me give you an example, wooded course, that anger overcomes thought. But when thought is transformed into fire, the anger reduces and the body achieves balance. We're in the elemental flow. If you have excess wood, fire burns up wood. Let's take a quick look here at the seven emotions and the organs. So I've got five listed there, or six it looks like. So just um, remember that as we go through it, you can take notes. Fear also is shock. So joy, 
how, what organ is damaged? Here's a corresponding organ. Excessive joy consumes your heart energy, leading to deficiency of the heart energy and relaxes the heart so it cannot function properly. Excess anger consumes your liver energy and leads to deficient liver energy. And then what happens? We talked about this, rises to your head, creates headaches, high blood pressure, and maybe a stroke. Worry and sadness excess will burn up the lung energy, which leads to deficiency, causing abnormal pain, abdominal pains and swelling. Thought, well, excess will consume your spleen energy, and then that will cause congestion in your spleen. And fear and shock consume your kidney, which leads to a deficiency, forcing the kidney energy down, which causes lower body problems and kidney issues. Um, fear. Here, I just want to use this one as an example, is people that are fearful about survival. That's our root chakra right there. And if you're worried about money and worried about survival, worried about getting food and paying your bills and all of that, what happens? you get lower back pain. The first time a spiritual person they're gonna to say to you is, when you have lower back pains, in your kidneys especially, you're worrying too much about something. But it usually tends to be job, money, that type of thing. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about foods that heal the emotions. Um, that's why I'm doing all of this so you can kind of understand and take little steps to balance yourself out. So there are basically five, uh, the five basic flavors in foods and how they transform an emotion, okay, into fire and recalibrate the body. Now, food is a great way to boost important emotions and reduce overstimulated ones. So the healing food is sour, which will enhance the liver and the gallbladder. It enhances the emotions of anger and reduces emotions of thought. You know how you're a gerbil in your, your mind all the time, running thought is just, we don't want that. We wanna reduce that emotion. Take a look at the chart. Uh, as you're seeing, I'm breaking it down and explaining it um, from the traditional Chinese medicine view. So you have this information, it's in the chart, but we're breaking it down so you understand it a little bit better right now. Bitter is for your heart and small intestine. It will enhance the joy and reduce sadness. Sweet is for your stomach and spleen, enhances thought, reduces fear. Pugnant or pungent um, will enhance lungs and large intestine, enhances worry, reduces anger. Salty, Kidneys and bladder enhances fear and reduces emotion of joy. So next we're gonna talk about the wood element a little bit more. Let me get my chart up here for myself. Okay, I wanna discuss a couple of things with you. Let me just look really quick here and make sure I haven't missed any notes. All right, we're talking about the wood element. And one of the things we also want to discuss, it's springtime, the wood element. We know it's the liver. We know that, you know, liver absorbs the anger and we want to be healthy. So springtime is a great time to do your liver cleanse. The Master Cleanse by Stanley Burroughs. There's a book out there, you can Google it, go out to Amazon. Here's the basis of it. Two tablespoons of lemon, 100% maple syrup, eight ounces of spring water and a dash of cayenne pepper. You're gonna to wanna to drink at least six glasses, I'd say 12 a day. Well, the lemon contracts and, and, and loosens up those toxins that are deep in the tissue and organs and they're good for arthritis and cleanses the joints. Cayenne, well, that clears the blood and eliminates the toxins and mucus. Make sure you use 100% maple syrup. Do not use honey. People are like, oh, honey's natural. Well, it congests and clogs. So make sure that you um, don't use honey, and then take a bath and scrub your skin, especially with like a loofah sponge or something, loofah. 
Because you want to get the dead skin cells off and you want to wash off the toxins that are being eliminated through the skin. Now, if you're really toxic, you might get a rash and you might itch. And if you taste it, it might taste like chemical. When I lived in Dallas, Texas, and I would come back home in the summer, my friend and I, she'd always fly up here with me, um, we would break out in a rash because we were detoxing, because Minnesota on the lake, clean air, versus Dallas, Texas air. And when we would land, we noticed this big haze over the city where we lived, and it totally made sense why we were, um, why we had that rash and felt crappy for a while. You know, just part of life, guys. Let's talk a little bit about nutrition. You want to drink fruits and vegetables separately. I don't know if you know about that, but that's because they do not combine well in your stomach. For the wood element, we want to eat green foods, herbs, fruits, and vegetables. Now, alfalfa sprouts and sunflower sprouts, seeds are great and you can grow your own and don't forget about wheat grass that's a great tonic and healer herbs that you can use are sassafras bark which purifies your blood and it's really good for your skin and your joints and your kidney your bladder it's awesome for colds if you have any kind of throat problems scratchy throat stomach and it helps relieve gas. What a wonderful herb. <laughs> now dandelion, that's a great spring cleaner. And guess what? I'm sure you can find some of those. Usually if people have the perception of, ah, oh, those dandelions are all over my yard. Well, with a little research, um, I have found you can use every part of that dandelion. And it's great for spring cleaning. And you can make wine. <laughs> Up north, we make wine out of dandelions. We had to figure out what to do with all the dandelions in our yard. So um, the greens, those are really great. They're high in vitamin A and they're good on a salad. The root, you know, is good for the blood and the liver and the kidney. <clears throat> Another wonderful herb. And guys, a lot of these grow yourself. Well, dandelions, you know, they, they grow themselves. Peppermint is awesome. If you are a person who suffers from headaches, Make sure to carry some um, aromatherapy peppermint oil with you and sniff it or even chew on peppermint gum or get some like peppermint drops or something because it really does help with headaches and it relieves sinus pressure, it relieves uh, nausea, stomach cramps, and diarrhea, and it's great for muscle spasms. So once again, this would also be a great bath that you could take peppermint in bath. And use salt. Epsom salt is awesome to use along with that. Exercise. Let's talk about exercise. So for the um, spring element, morning exercise is best. Well, you're saying, well, why is morning exercise the best? Because what is the element of wood? It's springtime. It's the dawn. It's when the sun's coming up. That's the energy of the wood element. So morning exercise is best for you. Things that you would like to do is you want to make sure to stretch and move. Yoga, Tai Chi, and then Feldenkrais. I'm not sure you know what Feldenkrais is, so um, I'm going to explain it a little bit. I looked it up and I found it quite interesting. Um, we also want to make sure we stretch the muscles, tendons, and ligaments to put the spring back into your step. So the Feldenkrais method, it's a form of movement that re-educates and was developed by this nuclear physicist. His name is Mo, Moshi Feldenkrais. So he suffered from sports injuries and rather undergoing surgery, what he did is he explored alternatives and created his own form of rehab, which integrated the physiology, the anatomy, with some martial arts, um, psychology, and neurology. The key principle in this and the way that a person speaks and moves and thinks is based on the self-image that the person has developed over years. And in order to change the way we move and carry ourselves, we have to change how we see ourselves. 
So this Feldenkrais recognized the importance of proper breathing to movement, and he also believes that posture and movement reflect the state of your mind and body. Well, that's obvious. You know, how many times have you seen a depressed person? They're real easy to find. Hunched over shoulders, looking down, all sad. So you can Google a little bit more about him if you want. I'm just giving you a brief overview because this is free training. Um, jog, tennis, jumping rope, dancing. Hello, I love to dance, love to swim. Um, building strength and endurance. endurance and then uh, uh, it's great when you sweat because it's cleansing. Well, this is just fun for me to see because I was a, a miler. Uh, six years um, in high school, I lettered. I love jogging. I'm not a great tennis player, even though it is really fun. I love jumping rope, dance. I have dance parties all the time. You can dance any way you want. You don't have to be a good dancer. You can be a, a cray cray dancer, it's fine. Love swimming while well, I live in the land of lakes. Um, I was the first girl to lift weights with the boys in high school. I love lifting weights. And I was an endurance runner, you know, I'd run 11 to 13 miles a day. So I love looking at this stuff because it just validates um, that the things you really like are who you are. And then far as yoga, we know that yoga is going to help balance your chakras. And Tai Chi and Qigong are also very slow movements that are excellent to stretch out your body. So, I want you to imagine for a minute. You know, we've covered a ton of information in this webinar so far, but alone it's not going to get you where you want to be. So, I want you to imagine. Imagine if you have the tools to understand more of this and that you have somebody to guide you and help you. You have two choices. You can work with me if you want to balance yourself out, your space, your mind, and your body, or not. You know, but you did show up for these webinars for a reason, and it's because you want more help. You want to understand this information. So now is the time. And I put together this really cool creative program. It's called Dream Space Program. And it's a customized program for each student. You get a base of information, but then you get to customize what you want to unblock. We talk about clutter, we talk about rooms, we talk about sectors. So let's take a look. In this training, we've talked a lot about the trigram because we're talking about Mingua and what is your personal trigram. So here we are in the trigram. Sorry, guys, I didn't advance it there. Um, so my trigram is three wood, and I'm the thunder trigram. Um, take a look at the sectors here. So when we customize, you pick the sectors you want worked on that are blocked. And I would say go look at what the clutter is. And also the rooms. Now here's really important, the bedroom and kitchen. To me, those are the most in, two important rooms. To me, the bedroom would be the most important, but people will go back and forth on that. The bedroom is where you rest, and if you're not getting a good night's sleep, to me, nothing else matters. But the kitchen is the heart of the home. That's where the food is prepared and you receive your nourishment and people gather together to eat. So these are the rooms right now um, in this program that I'm offering. Clutter types, mail and bill clutter, paper, books and magazines, things that don't have a home. They just have no place. That's why they're clutter. Photos and video and our favorite computer clutter because we are in a technological age. And remember, don't beat yourself up, guys. Nobody explained to us or told us how to handle all these types of clutter because our parents, our grandparents, they didn't have this clutter. They didn't have electricity, they didn't have running water, so they didn't have to worry about all this excess. They didn't have excess, let alone computers and iPhones and iPads and duplicates of everything. 
that's fear-based right there if you won't release stuff. And I'm telling you, every one of my students, once you release something, you feel so much better. Just yesterday I had a talk with a student and Margot said, you know, she took all this stuff out of her office and got it the way she wants and she doesn't want to put it back. That's what I find. Now, one of the most common things I have people do is like a lot of fireplaces and their mantles are just loaded with stuff. And so I have them take everything off and they can put up to three items back on in nine days. You know, one item every three days. And then they have to sit with that a little bit and see if they want more. And I say 99% of the people do not want um, to put things back on the fireplace because it looks so much better. So here's what the program special is for you today. There's three package levels. The first one is just the basic package where you get one sector. Now remember the sectors, there's nine of them. Those are the, the Bagua sectors, they're called WAS. You get one room, and we went through the basic rooms I have right now. You know, the, I'll go back so you can take a look. Okay, hey. So the rooms are the bedroom, the kitchen, the gathering room. You might call it a living room. Um, the laundry room, I'm finding a lot of people have laundry room clutter issues um, because I do a lot of surveys. I did over 400 surveys and then the garage and it is springtime. So it's still snowing here. <laughs> We're not cleaning our garages out yet. You also get one clutter or one feng shui program and you get a one 30 minute consult with me one on one and feng shui basics which is a program itself which covers about uh well it's 497 dollars on its own now the most popular package is the middle one and as you can see instead of one sector you get three instead of one room you get two instead of one clutter or feng shui program you get two instead of one 30 minute consult you get two then if you are really ready you know and you want my assistance you want to get the expert help jump in on the six sectors, three rooms, three clutter or feng shui programs, and three 30-minute consults, and the feng shui basics package. It's for $9.97, the value's over $33.50. Okay, but then I said, you know what? I really wanna help these people out, so I throw bonuses in. You get an additional 20-minute consult, and this is how it works. When you pick your package, you get an email, and it will send you to fill out a short survey telling me exactly what your clutter issues are, what areas of your life are blocked. It's a very short survey, but it has specific questions. Then you're gonna set up an appointment on my Set More site. We're gonna to get together. I can be honest with you, these appointments usually go much longer than 20 minutes because it's the foundation of creating an action plan for you. And so then we get together and you send your floor plan, guys. I decided I am going to do your floor plan. So you upload it, I place the bagua over it, and I make sure you have no missing pieces, and I give you three cures. That alone is a $300 value, and if anything, that alone is worth buying the package because once you have an expert that makes sure your floor plan is correct, then you can look at all the training I give and elementally learn how to balance it. You also get a clear, clean, organized program. And what that is is two videos and a checklist. And I just went over some of it with my students um, this week. I'll give you an example. We are in March. So when getting organized, uh, March is living room organization. And we're talking about things such as donating magazines. You want to donate those to the library, doctor's offices, put them in a garage sale. Or you can go and cut out all the things you want for your vision board and put them in Ziploc bags. That's what I do. Whenever I want to make a vision board, I have everything already cut out. Because anytime I see a magazine and I like something, I take it and I cut it out. It either goes in the color Ziploc or it goes in the people Ziploc or it goes in the things Ziploc. Ziploc or the nature Ziploc. And I can create, I love making vision boards. I love to go sit in the creative area and dream about what kind of life I want and make a vision board according to the Bagua. 
Okay, then everything needs a place. March is about finding the place for everything. Recycle, paper, plastic, glass, and compost. Entrances, do you have a place for your keys, your coats, and your boots? Let's talk about kids. Do you have a place for your kids where they can put their things so that you're not yelling at them all the time and then they can't find it? Give them a bin, give them a container. Okay, then we also get into spring and fall cleaning and it's time to change your smoke alarms because I usually do it on daylight savings time. Um, we talk about interior and exterior um, and I'm not gonna go through all those, that's in the program if you're interested. And also on this list, it talks about daily things to do, weekly things to do, monthly things to do, and quarterly things to do. They have links that you can use for more information to recycle or find microfiber supplies, go green type things. Then another bonus, uh, two clutter and feng shui programs. Also tapping to unblock clutter issues. And that's from Thriving Now. And if you don't know what tapping is, it walks you right through it. Tapping is a certain way you state things and tap on your head and face that neurologically will unblock issues that you have. You also will get an extra two sectors. So that means in the basic package, you're getting three sectors. In the most popular package, you're going to get five sectors. And in the expert level, you're going to get eight sectors. I've also included the Color Counts program. And um, that alone is worth over $1,400 in bonuses. So let's take a look at this for a minute. If you get the expert level at $997, the value is $3,350 plus $1,400. So you have almost $5,000 in programs. And I'm adding all the time, I do free training, and all the free training I do goes in the membership site. So you say, well, how does this all work? I be briefly explain this. You can take a screenshot of this. You can um, just read through it. But what we really want you to do is to get started. I'm here to help you. You have the opportunity to work with a feng shui expert one-on-one. -on -one. We have a private Facebook group where we post things and we talk and we do a live call every Tuesday, which is recorded. Uh, sometimes we do people's floor plans in class. Sometimes we just um, talk about the free training that we had gone through and we answer all questions. I do have some experts that will be coming in. I have Yasha Jampolsky, who will be covering the Four Pillars of Destiny. I talked to Werner Brandemeyer yesterday. He is electromagnetic field EMF expert, breaking that up from Austria. He is going to be doing a uh, webinar for us. And I also am going to be covering chakras, aromatherapy, rocks and stones and minerals, all that relate to the Bhagwa. So that's just a few things that I have lined up for you. So let's take a look. All you have to do is click on that bit.ly link. It will take you to the order page. You can see there's 10 hours left. Now the timer may change just because it's Easter and it took me a while to get webinar three up because of my sciatica, which I am uh, about 95% healed right now. Thank you for this program. <laughs> so you can take a look. All the information we've covered is here. Now here's the sectors again, and the rooms and the clutter programs. And there's more clutter programs and feng shui programs than that. That's just a start. So all you do is you click on the order now button and it's going to take you to the order page. You can see there are three levels. And what I did, one of my students asked me, can you break up that 997 into three payments? And I said, sure. So I decided to leave that up for everybody in case you're interested. So I wanna thank you for your time. Please watch the replay, join our Facebook group. And if you have any questions, make sure to message me, comment in the Facebook groups, 
and I will most definitely get to all your answers. Follow me, guys. I have so much fun on Periscope, Scope, and make sure to show up for that. I give a lot of free training at least once a week, maybe two or three times. Have a great week. Have a great day. Have a great life. You're all blessed. Thanks so much. Take action because when the, when the bonuses are gone, the bonuses are gone. You'll be able to get the programs at the, those prices are actually going up because we're in beta. This is a beta program right now. So the coaching program prices will be going up. So take advantage now. If you're interested at all, let's get rocking this year right now. Let's write the chapter that you want and you deserve in your life.